Well, so many stories of loss and survival emerging from the massive destruction caused by those deadly tornadoes. And ABC's Matt Gutman has been tracking them from West Liberty, Kentucky, where we see the snow is on the ground there, too. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Robin. I know this looks like a field of snow. It was actually a neighborhood just 72 hours ago. They'd hoped to start clearing some of this debris. Instead, they're contending with this piles of wet, heavy snow, so heavy they're afraid it's going to start collapsing rooftops. There are other hazards here. Uh, we came across this two by four with nails sticking out of it in the parking lot right there. All of this is going to slow the cleanup here significantly today. Take it away from us, Lord. Fervent and fearless, she blasts prayer skyward. Take it up away from my home. Take it away from this town. A mysterious woman in this breath stopping video begging God to let this tornado pass. In tornado battered Kentucky, her prayers resonated. So we set out to find her. With phones down, electricity out, it wasn't easy. Finally. And then we watched it form. And then as that monster, as I would refer to it as, above us, I began then to pray. Lord, take it, Lord, take it away from us. It knocked the porch right off. It knocked the porch right off. I watched it go. I held the door and the pressure was hitting it. Take and it, it worked. Her house still standing. Despite congregations coming together across this region, prayers for the youngest left unanswered. She went and picked her arms straight up. She wanted to go with daddy. True to her name, Angel Babcock is in heaven, her grandmother tells ABC News. Just 14 months old, Babcock held on, surviving, even as a massive tornado took her entire family. For a few days, she was a tiny source of hope. One thing I can say, they're all together. <laughs> and that is, that is comforting. Hundreds showing up at this donation site, moved by stories of survival and faith. Folks like Dwayne Phillips, who managed to outrun the tornado in his car. That's how we get on. Feel so helpless. We got to do something to help all these people. Right now, residents, Robin, are telling us they need the simple things. Things like shovels to help clear the snow. They thought they would be used to help clear the debris. But with all of this on the ground, it could be several more days before the hundreds of homeless finally get back to neighborhoods like this one. Robin. Yeah, making it so much more difficult. Matt, thank you very much.